Right now, take a look at that. The traffic picking mm. up on I-59 as travelers are mm. hitting the road for the Thanksgiving holiday. Yeah, 54 million Americans are expected to be traveling all along these roadways for that holiday weekend, with most opting, yes, for a road trip. Yeah, CBS 42 News for the Brit Moore live in Birmingham with a look at just how the roads are shaping up where you are. They're picking up here, Lee, downtown near, I mean, Brit. But what about for you? Well, I'm here. This is Interstate 65 right behind me. So far, traffic is picking up quite a bit. Can't tell if it's just regular traffic at this time. But we do know the best bet if you are heading out for your road trip, leave early, like now. Try to avoid those peak afternoon traffic rush hours because there will be plenty of cars out there on the roads. Local traffic and long distance traffic combined this year. More people will choose to hop on a plane instead of driving. But with that said, 48 million people are still expected to hit the roads for this holiday. It's 5% more than last year. Now, surprising for some nationwide, gas prices aren't deterring people away. I caught up with one driver who says he's pleasantly surprised about gas prices here in central Alabama. You think that they're, uh, they gouge you, they maybe like rack them up on purpose, uh, like it feels like 4th of July, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, but uh, yeah, surprisingly they're low and it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. Alabama's gas prices are lower than the national average, which is $2.79 a gallon. So if you're hitting the roads in our area, you'll notice prices possibly lower than $2.36 a gallon. Low gas prices, decent weather combined. You can expect a lot of cars out here on the roadway. So just prepare and give yourself some plenty of time. For now, we're live in Birmingham this morning. Britt Moore, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.